Stanja Balisco here. The little uh, addendum to my video about texting, where I made the claim that texting is silly. Uh, well, to me it's silly. Because uh, it represents a conversion from what could be just a plain old analog communication to digital and then back to analog again because you have to look at it. Uh, but if that's silly, then some of the technology and some of our habits regarding the technology are downright ridiculous to the point of being pathetic. And what I'm referring to here is our tendency to rely too much on technology. Uh, texting is great if you, you know, if you don't want to answer a person right away and, and if you don't overdo it. But I think at the bottom of it all is, the, is just the plain old fact that people like to play around with their gadgets, with their devices. Uh, I know I do, and, and I, I have uh, about four or five, six different devices. Well, let's see, four computers and three tablet devices. And uh, they all have different operating systems. <laughs> and uh, people complain, you know, why don't you standardize it all? But uh, the fact is, I, I just sort of like to play around with these things. And I've made some, uh, a lot of observations about these different operating systems that I could relate to you, but it would take all day. And I only want to, I, I'm trying to keep my videos like this to three minutes or less, and it's doggone hard. But the gist of it is that as much fun as it is to do all of these little things with these little devices, we have become dependent upon this technology to the point where if something interrupts it, we can't even function. I remember when I was purchasing a property that I'm now renting out in Cody, Wyoming, and I was going to get money in, as a cashier's check from the bank. The banks were all closed. What? Why are the banks all closed? Because somebody took a backhoe and dug in the wrong place and severed the internet line leading into and out of Cody the only one that they had. And until they could repair that line, you couldn't even go, so, go in there and so much as make a deposit. Imagine what would happen if a coronal mass ejection were to take place causing an electromagnetic pulse that fried all kinds of internet nodes and things like that. You wouldn't be able to make not only a deposit or a withdrawal, you wouldn't be able to pump gas, you probably wouldn't have electricity. You've heard the drill. But we like our stuff too much. We like it so much that someday we're going to wish we'd been just a little more, shall I say, a little less fond of them. So it's not the technology itself that there's anything wrong with. There's nothing wrong with texting. There's nothing wrong with all of these things. It's overdoing it, relying too much on it, and making it into a, a, an exercise in silliness. I try to maintain a balance, but it's hard, especially on a weekend like this when it's raining and there's really, and then everything is closed and there's not a heck of a lot to do, but sit here and fool around with, you guessed it, my devices. And might I add the word troglodyte that described me in one of those comments. Whoever you are who, who put that up there, I know you did identify yourself. I hope you're still around. I hope you'll come back. And uh, I apologize for being in a bad mood and knocking you off like that. Um, we, can get around, we can get around all of those, all my different rules and regulations in regards to what you can and cannot do on my channel. But the one thing, it'll be useless uh, if you don't 
watch my stuff. And I think troglodyte is a great word, and I'm going to run with it. I'm going to exploit it. Thank you, whoever you are. You're doggone right I'm a troglodyte and proud of it. Especially when it comes to technology. <laughs> and yet, oh, uh, that's enough. I just wanted to get to the point that we rely too much on this stuff. However much fun it may be to do, however much, uh, however cool it is to play with all these gadgets, as long as we don't get too serious about it, but I'm afraid it's too late, my friend. Stan Gibalisco signing off from the black holes of Dakota Torritary, United States of Abominable Weather, and United States of Aberrant YouTube videos, courtesy of your troglodyte in residence. Until next time, so long.